Ooh, so this is the best part of my day, my working day, when I can actually leave the office, head to the car, meet my husband, and he just drives us home. So we're actually at my daughter's daycare. He's picking her up, and then we're going to go get my son. I'm feeling pretty good. I was actually, um, I wasn't really looking forward to returning to work today because I've had a few days off work now because I was off last week, Wednesday. And then last week, um, one of the days I took off as well because it was my birthday. And then it was Good Friday. And then we had the weekend. And then yesterday was Easter Monday. So it's been a good few days since I've been at work. And, and I'm like, oh, now I'm at the point of like counting down the days because I have like two and a half weeks left at work. So yeah, I had a good day. I'm home, you guys. So my phone actually cut out on me so i'm home and i can film the rest of this update um so yeah as i was saying i had a good day and the best part was arriving to work and i found gifts on my chair and on my desk so um i'll quickly show you guys basically um this was for my birthday and look What's it called? A Snoogle. I got a Snoogle Mini. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying this tonight. We'll see how it goes. I do have like a, a long body pillow, but it's nothing like this. Um, it's just literally just a general pillow. And um, my mother-in-law actually gave it to my daughter. And then what did we do, Gabby? We switched, right? Mm -hmm. She gave me the pillow and I gave her one of my blankets. But um yeah, it doesn't quite work the way it should. And I know a lot of people swear by this type of pillow. So I'm looking forward to giving it a go tonight. And what else did I get? Um, I got these little treats. Pretzels. Um, what does it say? It's chocolate party pretzels. So it's just like pretzels, pretty much giant pretzels. Look how big they are. Yeah, covered in chocolate and there's three so I'll be sharing that with my kids that's why Gabby's here right now she's waiting for me to give her a piece <laughs> and then I got ooh, look at this one of those um rock plants no oh, you haven't seen this have you Gabby oh yeah I should open it so we can see it properly Ta-da! It's so pretty. Yes. Yeah, so that's going to go on my windowsill in the kitchen. I think it'll be perfect there. And this, what else? I got, um, I got a gift card for Starbucks. So that will come in handy. And yeah, this was pretty much all gifted to me from one of my good friends at work. So thank you so much. I'm just going to call her Tiago. You know who you are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to let you know that I gave you a little shout out. And also tell your man that I'm okay with you stalking me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much. I absolutely love this. And I'm excited to give it a go. So yeah, that was pretty much the highlight of my day. And yeah, I got about two Braxton Hicks contractions. The second one was a little bit more painful. Like, they just feel like strong cramps, right? And so I'm a little bit uncomfortable around the hips, but I am surviving. Can we talk about maternity clothes for a moment? Because I mentioned in one of my videos that I'm trying not to buy any more maternity clothes. I'm practically almost at the end of my pregnancy. Maternity clothes are hella expensive and Literally last night, I was looking at my closet and I'm like, there's no way I'm going to make it. I need more maternity clothes. And so my husband was out and I asked him to pop into one of the maternity stores to find me a top um, that was going to work for the season because it's starting to get warmer. And so um, in the end, I whenever I go to the maternity store, I always go to the sale rack first thing. And he said there was nothing in the sale or there was no sales or whatever. So I was like, hmm, that's a bit odd. But anyway... So he's on the phone to me, um, the salesperson is there helping him out because he literally had like less than 15 minutes to find something. And then um, he was
was looking for like long sleeve because I said I'll find a long sleeve top because normally I get quite cold at work. But yeah, and then he mentioned t-shirts and I was like, oh, okay, maybe go for a t-shirt because a t-shirt would be cheaper. And let me tell you, this is the top that he got me. So it's just a short sleeve t-shirt that's long enough. Right, and it has like the stretching on the side, which I absolutely love. And it's soft. Like, I can't complain. It's really soft. And it just worked perfectly. Now I had something new to wear. So, in the end, this t-shirt actually cost, what, 40, $46? After tax, 51 or $52? I feel like that's outrageous for a t-shirt. I don't know. I'm at the point where I just feel like the best thing that us pregnant women can do is like buy something, keep the labels on, <laughs> keep the labels on, wear it for like a week or two and then return it or whatever the return policy is, return it, get your money back and exchange or exchange it for something else. And then you have something new to wear, right? And we don't have to worry about finding something to wear. <laughs> but honestly, I wouldn't do that. But I'm like, wow, like it's insane because honestly with my first pregnancy, I pretty much got away with not really buying maternity clothes. I had the belly band it, so that allowed me to like open up my pants and then just wear that over my pants. Um, so I didn't have to use the zipper on my pants. And then I, I think it wasn't until towards the end that I got like a long sleeve jumper. And then with my second pregnancy, I ended up getting maternity trousers and uh, one top. So then by the end, I had two tops and pants for my second pregnancy. And this one, just forget it. I was just like, literally almost from the beginning, I needed new maternity clothes. So I have bought a whole lot of maternity clothes for this pregnancy. I say a whole lot, probably a lot for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I was really hoping I wouldn't have to buy any more, but I just was like looking at my closet and I was like, I'm gonna need like maybe one more top. And I've been surviving with my tops and I bought two maternity leggings. I have, and that's all I've been wearing, like leggings throughout my pregnancy and then the maternity tops and um, like dresses. But now I'm getting to a point where it started to get difficult for me to wear dresses because I'd have to wear tights and then the tights are starting to hurt me, right? Around the bump. So I stopped wearing dresses, but we'll see. The weather has been up and down. It's spring now, but I think today it's like minus, let me see what the temperature is. Uh, yeah, right now, I don't know. Actually, it's kind of warm right now. It's like minus four right now. But I think earlier this morning, it was like minus 24 or something like that. So the weather just like fluctuates. But yeah, I don't know. And I think there is the option of renting maternity clothes. I'm sure there's like those online um, sites where you can rent maternity clothes and then return them. So I don't know if there is that option. That's always something that I guess you could consider if you're experiencing the struggle of what to wear, right? But um I've never looked for that and I don't think I would try it myself if I had that option, but I would think that there is that option online. So definitely worth doing your research if it's something that you would consider. But shout out to my husband for helping me out. He's always helping me out like that. Like he is one of those guys that will go to a store and he will help me find sanitary towels if I need it. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I am done with maternity clothes because I'm just looking forward to my last two and a half weeks of work, getting to the end, and then I can just wear whatever I feel like wearing. So I just wanted to do that quick update for you guys. I might as well show you the bump while I'm at it. Look at that. That's 35 weeks, 35 and a half weeks, you guys. So I'm almost nine months. So you guys give me a thumbs up for actually doing a third video and hopefully getting it up. If you see this video, I'm doing good. 
and um, let me know if you've got any requests or anything that you want to see or anything that you want me to discuss. Um, as usual, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave the links in the description box and yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye. Mm. This is good. Now I'm making a mess on my bed. Mm. I do love pretzels. Okay, so let me get on with this update. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and don't forget to connect with me over on Twitter and Instagram.